Asking about permitting, um, rocket stoves, permitting, and code. And as you all know, this is a huge um, topic. There's a lot to cover. And not only that, it's a huge issue in, in the minds of most builders. It's something that, that most folks who are considering building a rocket mass heater um, really would love some clear answers on permitting and code and legality and rocket mass heaters. And so I get that question a lot. Hey, Kenneth, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So it's a, it's a common question. And unfortunately, it's not one that has any definitive answer that is applicable to uh, the masses, as it were. And what I mean to say by that is, unfortunately, every individual is going to have to research what the legality is in their own municipality. And the reason for that is because these laws vary from state to state, county to county, and in some cases, city to city. Uh, and so there isn't any underlying, you know, this, this gentleman's question was so kind and I felt so bad because I didn't, there was nothing I could do other than just say, it's really up to where you are and you have to research the specifics. And once you know the specifics, you can get back to me and we can identify, you know, what our ch challenges are. Um, but unfortunately there is no underlying, like here's a general guideline of how you're going to get through your codes or your legality with a rocket mass heater because the laws vary so much from place to place to place. So anyways, let's go back to permitting. Um, so permitting at least, and this isn't necessarily a specific conversation to the U S because I do actually think that this is a conversation that we can talk about internationally in the sense that you're going to need to identify what your hurdles are. So, um, let's talk about it just briefly. I can't, it's going to be hard to go into any specifics. So what I want to do is, is help people who might be in this predicament and they don't know what to do. And here I am saying, I don't know what to do. You do it yourself. That's not really what I'm saying. Here's what I want you to do is, uh, you need to first and foremost, find out what rules you are governed by. Um, so if you're in the States, you want to go to your state website and look up solid fuel heater, uh, solid fuel burning, you know, regulations. Um, if you're in a different country, you know, you'll have to you find your wherever the appropriate place is. Typically, there's going to be environmental regulations from an agency, um, something like that. And then there might be some construction. So those are the state, the state in my state, uh, the state codes are the environmental ones. And then the municipal codes are the building codes where you actually get into the nuts and bolts of whether you can build, um, you know, how you can build certain things. So the first thing you need to do is check with your state and or, you know, federal government, find out what your environmental laws are, find out what your regulations are, what you're limited by. Um, you might want to call local masons they'll have a good idea of any masonry codes. They might not know about solid fuel burning, but they will know about bricks and stone and things like that and how those can interface with the rest of your build. And again, these are all things that are local. Um, so you really need to pay attention to those. And then, you know, really what I want to say is just what you, things you might run into. So I know one state where the only legal <clears throat> masonry solid fuel burners are ones that have a production combustion core that has been tested and certified by an EPA certified lab. So in other words, I would need to, I or some other rocket mass heater manufacturer, dragon heaters, somebody like that would need to not only produce a core for sale, but we would need to take that to an EPA certified lab get the appropriate testing, send that to the EPA, get the appropriate certifications, and then sell 
that core as a certified core. And so that is the only acceptable masonry heater installation in a particular state that I'm thinking of. So in other words, if you write me and say, what's it going to take to, get to I want to build a six inch J, I want to build it to code. What's it going to take? And I'm, you know, if you live in that state, I'm going to tell you it's flat out impossible. You will never, ever build one legally. That's just the way it is. Now, there's other states where the code simply states box stoves must have this efficiency and be rated from the EPA and masonry heaters are exempt. Boom, you're done. You can just go ahead and build yourself your rocket mass heater. There might be some other codes as you go farther down into your municipal codes that limit the weight or you know the materials or the location of that masonry heater. But in your state, in terms of legality, you get to bypass the EPA wood stove stuff. You get to bypass EPA solid fuel stuff. It's a masonry heater by any de description. You're good to go. So those are kind of the two opposite ends of the spectrum. And, you know, there's everything in between with all different layers of, of, of regulation. And that exists everywhere. You know, I know from my international dealings that there's places in Europe where they have similar type of um, restrictions as my most restrictive uh, example. You know, a masonry heater must have a tested and certified core. And there's other places where there are no such restrictions. So unfortunately, I really wish I could just give you guys well, if you're going to be in code, it's got to be like this. You know, they're just, there is unfortunately not any single blanket path or practice um, that will get you any closer to, to being able to install one legally unless that path is <laughs> moving. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's pretty much it with the legality and the and the code stuff is you're just going to have to dig into your local system. And, you know, I'm always happy to help. You know, it, once you run into those things, sometimes, uh, you know, the code might say something like, you know, your masonry heater, okay, must have uh, spark arrest and fire grate. Or, you know, you'll have certain stipulations. And those are things we can overcome. So we just need to know uh, know what they are. So so there you go.